everyone welcome back today i'm going to take you guys through how i created these designs right here they're technically three different designs but you can do them five different ways so let's get started with the first design the first design we're going to use a real clover in your nails so i chose this clover paired with a light sage green go out into your backyard and pick a fresh one you want to make sure it is not dried out because you want to make sure it looks real. You're going to put it on a light nail. I chose a light nude and I paired it with this sage green dip powder, but you can use polish or gel. It doesn't matter. You're going to need to grab some nail glue and then apply that nail glue to the nail where you want to put the clover. Quickly, using tweezers, grab your clover and gently place it on the nail where you want it and press it down very gently. Next, seal it in with your favorite top coat or you can encapsulate it in clear acrylic powder like I'm doing here. Voila! Here is a cute, non-traditional St. Patrick's Day Manny. The next design is still a clover, but you can do this clover in any color you want. It does not have to be green. And if you don't have nail polish, you can use acrylic craft paint. Using a medium sized dotting tool, dab the dotting tool into your polish or paint and put a dot on your nail. Make sure it is not too small or too large. Then go in for the paint again and place another same size dot right next to the one you just made. Go in for more polish and then join the two dots into a heart shape. The same process again using the same technique right next to the heart shape you just made. And do this one more time for one final heart shape. Lastly, it's time to create the stem. So right below those three hearts, just draw a stem and you can make it go left or right. Voila, you have two different ways to get a Clover Manny at home. Lastly, make sure to top it off with your favorite smudge-free top coat. It's not St. Patrick's Day without a little bit of rainbows. We're going to create this paintbrush looked rainbow. So you're going to grab a paintbrush and you can use nail polish, gel polish, acrylic paint, whatever you got laying around first color and draw a curved line from the top of your nail to the other opposite bottom side of your nail. It is up to you if you want to make the curve go all the way down to the tip of your nail. Take the second color and repeat it right under the first color. Repeat this process for every color that you want your rainbow to be. I chose five of the six colors of the rainbow so that it didn't take up too much space on my nail. There you have it, a simple paintbrushed rainbow. We're gonna take this rainbow the extra mile for this fourth design, adding a pot of gold to the end of the rainbow. For this design, you have to repeat the same process as you did last time, creating curved lines in every color that you want your rainbow to be. In this design, we're using a dotting tool to create our curved lines, showing you that you can choose whichever tool works best for you whether it's a dotting tool, nail art brush, toothpick, whatever works. Next, you're gonna need black polish or acrylic paint to paint the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Lightly dab a little bit of black polish at the bottom. It doesn't have to be perfect. 
Next, grab some gold glitter. You can get this at the craft section at Michael's. And then place little pieces of gold on the top of the pot. And there you have it. Now you have a rainbow with a pot of gold at the end of it. Make sure to finish off all your designs with your favorite shiny top coat. Grab your acrylic paint and your nail art brush because we're going to paint a leprechaun's hat over this green nail. Using the black acrylic paint, create a wide stripe across the bottom portion of your nail, making sure there's still green exposed on the top and the bottom of the nail. We're going to let the black acrylic paint dry before we start painting the gold buckle. Now that that is dry, we're going to use the gold paint and create a small short line on top of the black of the buckle and on the bottom. Next, we're going to connect those two gold lines on the sides. Acrylic paint is water soluble, so make sure you top it off with your favorite top coat before you go on about your day or washing your hands. All right, those are all the designs that we have for St. Patrick's Day. Let me know in the comments below which of the five different designs were your favorite, or if you have any fun ones for St. Patrick's Day, what do you plan on putting on your nails? All right, and if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna keep seeing more videos like this.